Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to edit Zoom recordings in Camtasia. All right, so I'm in Camtasia 2021 right now, and I edit Zoom recordings very often for my clients here. And they have a YouTube channel called Investor Life, and most of their content comes from Zoom recordings. So I wanted to show my workflow and how I make the Zoom recordings look better for YouTube. So I have a test one right here and I'll actually just mute it for now. And you can see that when you place it on the timeline, the canvas looks weird, right? Like it's small. This is not the correct size of canvas for YouTube. And so if you want to see what it is, you want to head up to the menus here, click on File, then go to Project Settings, and you'll see that it's at 640 by 360, which is way too small. So what I'm going to do is click on the custom here under Canvas Dimensions, and I'm going to scroll up, and I'm going to go to 1080p. And then I'm going to click Apply. And that's the actual canvas size that we want for YouTube specifically. Because that's where I'm putting these videos for them on, is on their YouTube channel. And you can see that the actual size of it is quite small. And when you enlarge it and make it big, it does get pretty pixelated. So there are some things that I do just to jazz it up and make it look better and to also kind of keep the eye away from the pixelation, if you know what I mean. So here's what I do. I have their Zoom recording, right? I've sized the canvas accordingly to the proper dimensions for YouTube, which was the 1080p. I'm going to move this up here and I'm going to apply some templates that I've saved for them. So I'm going to head to my library. And this is very easy to create for yourself. I have one called Investor Life. And there's this simple black and green template that I made for them that I use on their Zoom recordings. And so I made this. And you might be thinking, what? What is that? Well, when I place it behind, you'll understand the design process of everything. This is basically two blocks of color. So what I did was I went to favorites and I grabbed one of uh, this shape here and I made a black and then I grabbed an, uh, again the shape and then I made it to green and this is the green from their logo. So I just made a two-tone background here, very simple. And now I'm going to move it up because it's going to be placed behind them. And you can kind of see there's a little bit more formation happening. So Zoom, when you get Zoom recordings, they do this like huge black chunk of Zoom right there and then a bunch of black over here. But we don't need all of that. So what I like to do is I like to trim a bit of this and then make it bigger. And I actually put a title here up at the top on what the video actually is. So I'll make it a little bit bigger. You can play around with it to whatever, you know, suits your needs. And I'm just, I'm just cropping and doing some stuff here. moving it around okay and then another thing that i like to do is i like to add the the title of whatever the topic is so i'm going to just right click on track two and i'm going to go to insert track go to insert above because i need another track for the text going to go to the text feature which is in my favorites but you can find it in annotations under callouts. So I'm just going to grab it, drag it down here. This is the text. And I'm just going to do a generic title right now. Just leave it at that. Let's leave it at that. 
And then I'm going to stretch it out. I'm going to actually bold this font, make it bold, stretch it out to the length of the canvas so that it becomes easier to make it even. And something like this, you can make it slightly bigger. You can change the font. And then another thing that I like to do is cover up the zoom. So I'm going to insert another track here and I'm going to grab the, in my favorites, I have a default black rectangle. And again, if you, if you want one, you just go to annotations, go to callouts and you'll see it right there. But I have this black rectangle here and I like to cover up the zoom. And you might be thinking like, oh, why didn't you just crop it out? If I cropped it out, then there would be way more green showing and I actually like the, the black showing like this. I set it up like this and then they're going through the interview, they're going through the interview, right? The interviews are usually like 40 minutes to an hour long and I just go through and I remove all of the dead air. I don't add any audio effects. I don't do any noise removal or anything because uh, they already, like it's already recorded with two different kinds of microphones and I find that it, it does get messed up with the two different audios because you got audio from this guy and they've got audio over here and it's two different ones and you're adding noise removal on it as a whole. And so I, I generally just keep the audio that was originally recorded. It's not the best, but that's why I'm doing all this other visual stuff to make it look cool. And so I just go through along in the interview and I remove all the dead air, all the dead spaces, things that, you know, maybe mistakes or whatever that aren't necessary, that aren't going to provide value for the interview. And so you, you see here, I'll just show you the before. So I'll remove this part here. What we had was just this, the actual interview. And if, and if we were doing actual size, the actual size of it in a 1080 canvas was really small. It was like something like this, really small. So we went from that to this. And you can even add more text down here if you want with different things popping up in the interview, call to actions, different things like that. And I feel that this looks better than this just zoomed up because what a lot of people do is just they'll just zoom it up and then just do that and then upload that. But I feel like there are simple things that you can tweak and do to make it look a lot better and more visually appealing for the viewer. And so adding this here, which is that background, it's just basically a two-tone background based on their logo colors. Getting rid of the zoom logo there, that's huge. And adding a title to the conversation. And so that's how I edit Zoom recordings in Camtasia. So if you like these kinds of videos, I have a nine plus hour 70 lecture Camtasia course that will fast track your Camtasia learning. If you want to learn Camtasia fast and you want an encyclopedia of all the stuff to do with Camtasia, you want to check out my course that is down in the description below. Give this video a thumbs up if you're going to try out these new tactics and I'll see you in the next video.